Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, and I'm coming to you guys with my 30 week, my, well my 30 tech pregnancy week review. Um, yes, y'all, I'm 30 weeks. Goodbye to the 20s, deuces. I'm 30 weeks, y'all, and I cannot freaking believe it. And I'm just, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm excited. I feel big, I feel fat, I feel happy. I just feel really blessed and excited that I've made it this far. Okay, so let's see. This is what Symphony, this is what my bump looks like. And as you can see, I am getting there. Y'all excuse me, today is really more so a relaxed day or whatever. And please forgive me as far as the taping wise. Y'all know the issues with my other stuff. But this is what my belly looks like. I can now feel her her movements. Maybe I can get her on camera. Stephanie, you gonna kick for the camera? You gonna kick for the camera? I think she okay, if y'all can notice, she's Something's right here. I don't know what that is, but something is right here. Well, I guess she said, no, I'm sleeping. But she usually, she's a very active baby. Okay, so I got a lot to talk to y'all about. Let's hope we don't get interrupted. Okay. The last time that I spoke to you ladies, I was telling you about my um, gestational diabetes um, test, the glucose test that I had to take. And um, a couple of days after that, probably like maybe a day or two, my cats are crazy trying to get through the door. Like a couple of days after that, um, I got the news that I did not pass the test. And I'm like, what? I ain't passed. And I was like, so what was... You know how many points was I over? And they said I was like over two, 20 points or whatever. So I had to take a three hour test. In which y'all, I was totally trying to duck that test. I really was. But I had to take the test or whatever. And you know, I had to drink that nasty juice, majiga, cherry juice thing. And um, I had to be there nine in the morning. They had to draw blood first, then I had to drink the juice, then they, then the hour later they drew blood again, then the hour later they drew blood again, then the hour later they drew, I mean I had to get like four tubes drawn from me. I mean I was so happy when I left the doctor's office, but I kind of slept, the, I slept the whole way through, I ain't gonna lie, I went in the lobby and I caught me some Z's, then the nurse came out looking for me. I was like, I was here, I was just sleeping, I was coming. So, um, I ended up calling to see what my results were, but they were out for lunch. And then, um, one of the nurses called, and she's a Spanish nurse, she called and said, Ramona. And I was like, I passed my test. She was like, how did you know? I said, because I could hear it in your voice. Because if I didn't pass, you'd be like, Ramona. Like, no, I didn't pass, but I knew I passed it. So she was laughing and was so excited and I was excited so I was like thank you Jesus because the last thing I needed to hear was that something was wrong that I was basically very high risk and then I was dealing with um gestational diabetes I didn't need to deal with that also too when I did see my doctor um he said that the measurements of symphony is right on time so I was really excited about that Gosh, I got a lot of stuff to tell y'all. A lot of stuff to tell y'all. So he was really excited about that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, remember I was telling y'all that um, through the insurance, um, I ordered the Medela pump. Well, I ordered that on that Tuesday, and guess what? It came in the mail that Thursday. So when I was telling y'all that I ordered my Medela pump, came in. I got the pumping style advance. So I was like, oh yeah. You know what? With my last pregnancies, I always wanted the Medela pump. Um, so this is the box that came in. 
It actually came with um, two packs of disposable nursing pads. Um, I have one of them that I put in um, the hospital bag. And it also came with these thingamajigs. So I was like, okay, bad. It, um, it comes with a little congratulations. Um, you're off to a great start with your new Medela Pump and Style Advanced Starter. Breast pump, look inside to see how to complete your breast pump support system. So, yeah, and it gives you a booklet. Um, and I got these little bottles just to start off with or whatever. Let me show you exactly what the thing looks like. So this is the pump. Right here. And it has like the little knobs and everything on it. Which y'all try to figure out how to do. But y'all know. I could not stay out of my favorite store. And which you know I was just browsing through. Just browsing through. And guess what I found in the special store. I found a Modella pump in the special store. And it, it just it just has the pumping mechanism and also like the hookup thing. But I was like, shoot, these Medela pumps are expensive. So to get this one for $8 from the special store, I did pretty good. So now I have two pumps. Also, too, I want to apologize because a lot of y'all shipments are, are running behind. Because I'm going to tell y'all, it's been very hectic trying to get everything ready and sending off all of these packages and stuff. But your things are on the way. Okay, so what else is going on? Other than the simple fact that I'm really uncomfortable when I sleep at night, I can only sleep on my left side. She and my organs and everything else in my body does not like my right side. I constantly have to urinate even more at night to the point it feels like it's such an urgency, like it hurts if I don't urinate. So I have to hurry up and jump and, and I have to go. Um, I also feel like I have to go at least three times before I leave the house because if I'm driving, I'm not going to make it to my distance. Um, I do feel like she, I know she got to be a little bit over three pounds now because I can start to feel the weight of her. Yeah. Um, what else, y'all? Oh, my goodness. Y'all know I have to say this. I have to congratulate two of you ladies. Two of you ladies, both of y'all are in um, Florida. First of all, I have to congratulate Marilyn because you just gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. Um, congratulations. You was due in June, but you had him at the NMA full term and you had a transvaginal surplage. You dealt with the same type of issues that I dealt with with IC and it was a long journey for you. So congratulations, congratulations. Also, congratulations to Zakia. She gave birth to a baby boy at the end of May. And y'all, when I was getting these pictures, and I was just like, oh my gosh, it was so, I can't even explain it. I'm just so happy for you ladies because I'm like, we came a long way dealing with losses. When you guys came a long way, and it's a big inspiration to me because I'm like, dang. She, she got her baby. They, they walking out the hospital with their babies. They're not walking out the hospital with, I'm sorry for your loss, and I didn't cry. They cried enough, and they got their baby. So I just wanted to say congratulations to you ladies um, going full term, and that's so awesome. Again, one of you had a transdominal surclage from Dr. Hannity, and the other one had a trans, um, transdominal, the other one had... A transvaginal surclage so it worked for the both of you and I'm I am so happy and I was just saying to myself wow I know they gotta be such a natural high like whew, to go and to be and it's just like oh so what are my fears um right now let me see how many minutes I got what are my fears far as moving forward oh let me before I go into that y'all know I've been um well, a lot of y'all know on the 40 weeks to go form. I've been having issues because my gum started to swell up 
in the back. And y'all, I'm telling you, I was like, oh no, I cannot deal with this. So today, um, but I ended up finding a remedy on YouTube. And this is if your gums are swollen, if you're dealing with an abscess or toothache. Is that uh, what you do is take baking soda and also apple cider vinegar. Mix it and you kind of gargle with it. and Not gargle with it, but switch it around on the spot that's hurting. And at first I was like, oh my goodness, this is not going to work. But when I saw like over 100 replies, it was like, thank you so much. I was like, let me try this mask. I tried it and... The pain is completely gone. However, I did go to my dental appointment today. And they're going to be doing some work in my mouth next week. It's not going to be anything that's major. But just, you know, so that swelling can go down. Because my gums, they kind of overlap. In pregnancy, that can happen. So, I'm like, okay. Um, what else is going on? Yeah, so, y'all, we are in June. This is, we are in, this is June the 3rd. My baby's going to be here next month. And for if I did not say it to you ladies before, I am not in the August um, date anymore. My C-section date is set for July the 28th. But what I've been noticing is that a lot of women are actually giving birth at like 35, 36, 37. I mean, 30, 36 on up is considered full term. But I'm just like, whoa, it's coming so, so fast. So far, um, I set a date. I told them the date for the baby shower is going to be July the 18th, that Saturday. And I'm like, am I even going to be able to make it to July the 18th? Because um, a lot of you ladies that were due in June actually had your babies in May. And so it's just like, whoa. Um, Christina Banks, congratulations to you because you gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. And um, I think you were due in June as well. And so you came, you you had your baby, then Marilyn had her baby, then Zakia had her baby. I'm like, dang, that makes me next then, right? <laughs> no, but I'm super excited. So, and it's so crazy because my mother was here yesterday helping um, cleaning up everything. And we're trying to get the nursery and everything ready. And I'm like, mommy, do you know that... Um, She's due next month, and my mother's like, "What? We got, we got things to do because we we're supposed to be making the curtains for her, um, for her nursery and everything." So I'm like, "Oh my goodness!" And then um, next week we're getting her crib, <sighs> her traveling system. I think once we get the traveling system, I want to buy one more swing, one more swing, and um, probably a, that Moses basket thing to go in the middle of the bed. But I'm like, this is this is crazy. And it was funny. My sister's fiance was all like, he from New York, so he's like, yo, if y'all know what I know, yo, you better get some sleep, yo. <laughs> I'm like, is this this is gonna be a game changer? Just like, oh. So today my nurse she just left because she gave me my uh, my injections. I don't know what happened, but. I had to tell her, you got to go lower back into my butt cheek because she started giving me <laughs> the shot in my hip. And I'll be like, ah, driving like, oh my gosh, it hurts. Like, what is going on? And so I was like, I cannot deal with that. So um, today the shot was okay. It's starting to hurt a little bit more though. I don't know why it's starting to hurt me more. I mean, I should be used to these things, but I think she started to go up a little higher. Um, I plan to write Dr. Davis um, an email because I'm debating should I send him an email after I have the baby or should I send him an email now letting him know, your transdominal surclage worked. I am full term. I mean, not full term, but I'm in my third trimester and I'm carrying as far as I've ever been. So I can't wait to write him a letter and I'll probably do a thank you video as well. Um, thank you, ladies, again, for all of your encouragement because if it wasn't for you, ladies, like really pushing me on, I don't know where I would be for real, for real. So it's amazing how God actually put people in your lives that you never even met. That's like, a cross, cross, cross country um, in a different state, in a different country. So, I'm truly blessed and I want to thank you ladies for that. 
other than that, my mouth has been feeling really dry. I don't feel, let me show you my bump again. I don't feel huge, huge. Like, you know, I, I feel like I'm, my husband's like, I'm like, babe, does my bump look big to you? He's like, hat to the year. But other than that, I still have my little line going up. And y'all know these are my scars from, this scar right here is from my transdominal surclage, transdominal surclage. This was just a fake me out um, belly ring. I tried to be so different and it ended up messing up. That's when I was young and silly and stupid. And this right here, this scar is from my transdominal surclage. And from my transdominal surclage. So I had a total of one, two, three, four... Four scars for my transdominal surclage. And um, if anybody tells you that none of those things like, and I had a robotic liposcopic done from Dr. Um, George Davis in New Jersey of um, June of last year. And so, um, yeah, so it'll be a one year date come the sixth. And as y'all can see, my Freddy Krueger. Um, Claws. I don't know if these things gonna go away because they're just so huge. They're huge. Look at that. And I can imagine because this weight, this curve can be. But I'm, I'm so happy. I'll gladly take my, um, my scars. I wonder how the C-section scar is gonna be. Thank you, ladies, so much for telling me what I need to prepare for as far as a C-section. Cause some of y'all was like, um, one of y'all left and was like, Mona, this was you gonna need, honey. You need to make sure, like, wear dresses, too. Don't wear, like, any pants. And I was like, that's right, that's right. So I started taking certain things out of my bag, like, um, a lot of pants and stuff. Because I don't want anything that's going to be around my scarring. I do want to see how it's going to be. Um, and you guys are going to see it up close. Because some of you, when I, and I know it's so exhausting because once you have a baby, your attention is on baby and you're trying to heal. But it's like... Once you guys, once you ladies have your babies, you really don't hear, hear too much from y'all. And I'd be like, dang, I wonder how they doing. I mean, how is the healing um, going? And, and some of you ladies, too, um, one of you ladies I've been talking to, you've been really giving me the lowdown of the lowdowns um, with the C-section. you like, girl, if you know what I know, you're going to need some help. Don't try to move around too much. Um, your your stitches may bust, you know, this, that, and the third, whoop, whoop, whoop. And on a, I asked you on a scale of 1 through 10, you was like, it was at 8. And I'm like, dang. But one of you was also saying that everybody deals with pain a, a different way. So, I never had a C-section, but I did have the liposcopic tack done. So, I'm thinking, does that kind of feel the same or is it totally different? And I know it's got to be real different because they're going to be taking a five to six pound or maybe eight or ten pound baby out of you. So, I know that's going to be a lot. Um, I feel like right now, me, I, I, I'm also nesting. And when I mean nesting, I want everything clean in this house. From the baseboards to the top of the ceiling. I want it to shine, glisten. I want everything dusted. I want to bring in um, for all my carpet in every single room to be um, deep clean. So the people, be they'll be coming out for that. Um... Excuse me, y'all. I just still feel like there's so much stuff that needs to be done in so little time. But I'm just so happy, y'all, to be 30 weeks. Like, dang. I am 10 weeks and a couple on one day from where I thought I could never be. And I would look at those 10 weeks like that. That was just so long just to get there. And I'm finally here. The thing that I worry about now is her kick counts. But... She moves and kick like clockwork. Um, in the morning and in the afternoon, I feel her moving. And now it's not even just the kicks. It's movements. Like, I may feel an arm. Or <laughs> I noticed that it doesn't matter which side I try to lay on. Of course, I can only lay on the left side because she can't stand. Or my body can rejects the right side. But if I do lay on the left side, I feel like a little... Boom. Like, I know she's on that side. Or if I go on this side, I can feel that she's on the other side. 
And it was one time I was sitting and I, I, I saw like a little bubble, like it just looked like, and I was like, oh, there you are. You know, I know she's all up in there, but I'm like, oh. So, yeah. Um, so I, I think at this point right now, I'm just more so just like this kid count, this kid count, this kid count. And um, I'm looking at everyone else's success and I'm just praying like, yeah, like, yeah, I want to be there so bad. I want to be there so bad. And I know a lot of you right now are dealing with the journey, um, not dealing with, but you're in your own 40 weeks to go journey. Whether you're trying to conceive, um, you're still in the midst of taking OPKs and HPT tests. I totally understand it. Some of you are doing IVF. Um, some of you are on Clomid. Um, so it's a different, some of you taking trigger shots. So it's a different walk. It's the same walk, but uh, some of us are going, going about different avenues. Some of you are getting transdominal cerclages. Some of you are getting transvaginal cerclages. Some of you are in the same boat as me, kick count and trying to count it down. So yeah, I feel like. Like this, like one of the ladies said on the uh, forum, ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. So it is the countdown. Um, but I feel like it's it's so close, but it's so far away. Like I feel like, oh my gosh, we got this at the thirty. Then we need to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Then I feel like it's so far away. And then I feel like, no, it's close. It's just I don't know. I'm just. I'm like an emotional roller coaster, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am. I'm just so, I'm still in shock. Like, dang, I'm 30 weeks. I remember looking at other women and they were like 30 weeks. And I was like, dang, you're 30 weeks. And I'm like 30 weeks. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll be satisfied once I'm 35 weeks. And, um, and then it's like, okay, I'll be satisfied when she's in my arms. Because... Things can happen, and I'm not saying that I'm thinking negative. I'm just being realistic. So, and I'm just letting you guys know what my fears are and everything. Um, yeah. So, other than that, um, other than the simple fact that I got my medulla pump, and I actually got two medulla pumps, and and that we're still um, doing baby's nursery, still getting some things ready, still planning and dealing with the upcoming baby shower. Um, and also congratulating all of these ladies that went through so much and coming home with their babies. It's just like, with their blessings, it's just like, whoa. So I'm really, really excited. And I spoke to Matthew, my husband. He's just like... Babe, I'm really excited about this. I'm just so excited and I can't I'm I'm looking forward to taking her for walks and holding her and stuff. And I was like, oh and I also told him too, I said, Matt, this it's not like our animals when we can just, you know, feed them, hold them a little bit and we're gone. This is like our baby baby that we're gonna be bringing home. He's like, I know, I know. And so, um, he's really excited too. Um I still have not really announced to a lot of people that we are pregnant. I just feel like I've all the people that know are the ones that need to know, like you ladies and maybe for my friends. So let me stop. No, it's just I don't honestly I really don't know how to say it. And I feel too, I guess because of my past, I feel like I have announced it so many times, three times, three times. And all three times I had to follow back of this is what happened, that's what happened. And you know, with every pregnancy, it is different, but you want to do something different. And it's like, maybe I should just wait until I have the baby. Um, some people may feel like, dad, she ain't tell me, but so, because I ain't feel like it. And like I said, it's, after dealing with multiple losses, you it's kind of hard to say it. I, I feel uncomfortable even with certain people I talk to that I'm not really close to that, um, um, you know, we're pregnant again. It's just like, what? Well, you, oh, you know, and I get kind of like, a, I'm not really getting too much. I'm not going to say it and not happy, but it's just really just kind of whatever. But when I tell them I'm in my third trimester, it's like, oh, okay, okay. 
But, you know, I'm, I'm more so I just really want to bring this baby home. And I am trying to tell people because I I don't want them to feel like that ain't her baby that said the third because she never said she was pregnant and why, 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 I don't know. But then in a way, I really don't care. I really don't. I really don't. But these are just my thoughts. It's just that when do you tell somebody? And even if you don't, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I'm comfortable with just just you ladies knowing and and the group knowing what's going on and my husband and immediately immediate family knowing I'm perfectly fine with that. It just felt like I've I've said it so many times before and had to take it back because of um their circumstances and everything. And so I'm just I just want to surround myself with just women who are just going to encourage me and um Again, I want to thank you ladies too because you are encouraging me. And um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, I've been real bloated. I have not been constipated. I've been all the time. I've been thirsty and cannot seem to quench this thirst. I have not been on bed rest. As a matter of fact, people are telling me, Mona, sit down, sit down. But I know my limit. Like, if I feel like uh, I need to chill, then I'm going to sit back or I'm going to lay down. So, I've been driving around. I've been getting up and going here and there. Still trying to catch up on my coupon and so I can stack up on my baby stash and diapers and things like that. Um, a lot of you did ask me, Mona, do you have a P.O. box? I do have a P.O. box, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to post that um, P.O. box at the bottom. You ladies, when I tell you, you do not have to send me anything, but if, if you want to, then thank you and God bless you, but you really don't, if anything, do a praise dance for a sister, because when it go down, y'all, it's going to go down, and I don't even know how I'm going to react, like, am I going to faint, am I going to cry, am I going to scream, am I going to jump for joy, am I going to be, like, in the zone for a couple of weeks, like, I don't know, but I know one thing. You ladies will see front. Y'all will be front row, honey. Get your popcorn. Because Mona going to be in the hospital taping it, okay? Straight raw footage. And, um, yeah, but I'm like, dang, 30 weeks, 30 weeks, 30, 30, 30 weeks. And also, congratulations to Anna, because today you just hit your 24-week viability. So, congratulations. I know you've been walking on eggshells just like I've been walking on eggshells, too. And, um, yeah, until then, ladies, I'll definitely give you guys another update. Um, when I'm 31 weeks, I don't, I don't think anything will change. Um, but, yeah. So, until then, ladies, ta-ta for now.